Right, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Daily Grey. Let's just get another one in. Hey Flacky. Um, God, it's early. It's early and I am tired. It is 20 past seven, which I know is probably not that early for some of you. Because some of you are like, I get up at five. That's beautiful, bro. You get up at five, you don't go to bed at three like me. I am a late... The green bit of my pack is gone. How weird. I am a crazy. I go to a late person. A nice old. Uh, not you. Not you. Uh, I mean, it can be you. Do you want to go in there? Okay. You can go in there then. You can ride in the back. There's meant to be seats there, and there will be seats there again. They're in my office currently. Because I need to take all three dogs today. Felice! Bin you deuce. Thank you. Eden. Eden. He's like, stop probably me through with it. Um heading down to Scots today, do some protection. First run out with uh, Big Eden, so we'll see how he gets on. Right, I need to go make Lily some breakfast and then have some food myself and then get off. Eden is horrifically blowing his coat. I literally brushed him yesterday and look at him. Look at the state of your bud. All that brown is just dead undercoat. I have enough shit. Jesus. Bad. Bad. Put my jacket on because it's freezing. What are we going to do here? How are we going to keep that at bay? I mean, hopefully it just passes. I've ordered a different rake. So I used to use a, a just Ferminator, but it doesn't pull the undercoat out. So I bought a Coat King, which does, apparently. Evidently not, because he looks the same every morning when I get up. And then I brush him, he looks mildly better. And then we... Just go back to it again. Um, so I'm not sure. I've bought an undercoat rake now. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Right. Eden von Crocodile Face in the van. Oh, you just banged your head on the door, you numpty. You numpty. Can I have your lead off, please? Thank you. Eden. Sniffing Khaleesi through the bars and she's like, I want to get out my grill, bro. I want to get out my grill. Yeah, so I've ordered under a undercoat rake because he looks horrendous. <sighs> oh well. It is what it is. Right. Done Louis food. Food for me now and then we will get on the road. Right, it is time to go. So, um, Worcester today. So we've got a fairly long drive and before any of you Jobsworth COVID police people who aren't actually anything to do with COVID, all the police get your knickers in a twist. Yes, we are allowed to go. Um, I'm allowed to go with Shane because Shane works with me and we are working, training the dogs. You can travel for work. As this is my job and Shane's job, and we work together, we're good. We're gravy. So before anyone starts crying in the comments, like, oh my God, don't you know that there's a lockdown on? Haven't you been aware? Yeah, of course I've been aware. I'm alive too. I can see by the empty roads. However, off we go. First stop, petrol station, coffee. Cause did not get one this morning. So that's always first on the agenda, because there ain't no beating that really, is there? So coffee, probably services for a wrap or something later on. So we've got, so, so long old haul, I think it's two and a half hours, something like that. So two and a half hours there, train all three dogs, two and a half hours back. Now, just gonna go over it very quickly because the services, the petrol station's here. Um, I'm just gonna let Khaleesi have a little play today and see how she is. 
she's still obviously retired from full blown protection. I'll never trial her again, I'll never compete her again. Um, however, if she can have a little blowout without any pain, then she deserves one. So we'll see how she gets on. We'll see how she gets on. Hopefully, I shall work her in some thin piece of equipment and that'll help. Right, to the petrol station we go for coffee. Just pulled up at Tibshelf Services because it's the only one en route with a Costa, so I could get a wrap instead of eating shite. Costa's closed. Nobody in Costa. People in McDonald's, nobody in Costa. So no Costa it is. Um, what I'll do is keep an eye out for the services nearer Worcester, because we don't, we don't usually go that way of the world. We usually train in Leicester. Um, but as we get down there, I will keep an eye out for the Costa services because I'm early. I mean, I'm not early, I've got an hour and a half left to drive, but I am early ETA. So we head back on the road. That's empty, brilliant. Uh -huh. I tell you what, this van has got immensely stiff suspension, immensely stiff. Um, I mean, that's generally because they're meant to carry a lot of weight in the back and I obviously haven't got any weight in the back. As far as I'm aware from reading other posts and stuff, they're better, they feel better when they've got weight in the back. It's just really bouncy, like go over speed bump at any, any speed, not even a considerable speed, just any speed. The back end jumps off the floor, which is not ideal when it's full of dogs. But hey, huh? We just have to remember to slow down for the speed bumps and all will be well. So, back onto the motorway, crunch some more miles and hope, fingers crossed, for a Costa. Trowel services. Do we think this Costa will be open? That is the question. We'll find out in a minute. Said trowel services half a mile back there. Oh, trowel services. Here we go. Come on, please be open. I need some food. And I don't want to eat McDonald's. However, it appears to be the only option. Costa. Come on. Come on, trial services. Do not let me down. Uh, coaches, HDB. Nope. Neither of the above. Cars. There we go. There we go. Right. Here we go. Don't know if it's open from out here because it's in one of them retail parky type things. They are electric parking, electric charging things. So we shall go here. Like so. Right. Wish me luck. I have no wrap. Why do I have no wrap? Because Costa was open, but they have no wraps. Well, I guess that's now a case of uh, give this us give this up as a bad job, isn't it? <sighs> Don't know if I can hack stopping at another one. <sighs> Don't know if I can do it. Don't know if I can do it. Might just have to get on now and be hungry and hopefully find something on the way back. For fuck's sake. We have arrived. Well, I say we've arrived. We've arrived at Flucky. 
Okay. We've arrived at the street address. Um, so I've just messaged Scott to see if he can share his location on WhatsApp. And then we can get to an exact address. Until then, we sit here and wait. I'm just in like a weird... That's the road. The road's down there. There's this house thing here. And then there's like a car park. I assume there's a dog walking route up there because there's many, many dogs milling around. So now we wait. Um, and then hopefully after this, we'll see some protection training clips. That's the plan anyway. Right, so. Turns out. People got their dates and times wrong and too many people turned up to training. Um, obviously we can't train in big groups. Not allowed at the moment. Um, so. Essentially training was called off um, which is a long drive however um, we're just we're gonna go do a private now away from the group away from all the people oh i can't get out of there go on sorry <laughs> there's a guy flashing and stopping and flashing and stopping and flashing and stopping how do i get out out anybody anybody no dust yeah, so we are now um, heading to do a private with Scott. So I think what he's, what he's done, essentially, I have no idea how long that's not been recording for. Um, we're going to do it at his usual place. So we're heading there now. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. This COVID nonsense needs to go away so we can just all get together and train like we used to and actually have fun. But alas, we will do what we will do. So the only people that will be there are um, me and Shane. Shane's dad's there. Obviously they can train together because it's Paul Bubble. Um, me and Shane can because work together. And then the trainers. Um, so we shall continue on with our day. And get back. Get back on the road. Dogs are here. Everyone's well. I guess that's all that matters. Also, in a, in a nice turn of events for some good news, Costa still wasn't there, but I found a, a wrap from Starbucks. So I got a fajita wrap from Starbucks, which was what I wanted from Costa anyway. So hopefully it's as good because I really, really enjoy the fajita that Costa do. So hopefully the Starbucks one is even half as delicious. I'll be happy with that. So, this will actually be the last checkup that you get with me. The next videos you see will be of dog training. I mean, unless something else goes wrong, which I'm not foreseeing or hoping. Um, but hey, it's a prime example of you just never know what's gonna happen in life. So, all is well. We'll get off now and I'll continue this journey. Got 35 minutes, so that gives me time to eat some food. Uh, by the time I've done that, I had my drink. We should be there. I think his issue is though, his interactions with people have just been passive and that's it. This is where it stopped. Stay where you are.
Pak. Seems pretty chill, don't you, to be fair? I didn't want to just, I wanted to let her do what she wanted. Right. I just want Get to set account. her mental yeah. again because then he brought her in again. Yeah. Oh, he'll work later. She's <laughs> no, no. She d deserves a block. Sure. She's so much obedience, haven't I? Yeah. Is that not hurting, Ash? Huh? Not hurting? A little bit, yeah. Not hurting? Nah. I thought you meant her ear. <laughs> no. Nah, not hurting. Just like uh. crushing blood down his arm, like it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Good girl. Super. Do you remember that one we did at mine where you had a cup of tea now? Did like a 45 minute passive bite. Just laid on part of the cup of tea. <laughs> she was buzzing. She was like. <laughs> I did say you should do it. Oh. No, I really missed it. <laughs> I didn't realise how much I missed it. I did say. You wait till we get the canisters out. <laughs> <laughs> I found the video of her first canister tank with you. Remember at uh, the field before Couch's field? Flash on all lane. Yeah. We had all the van lights on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were the days. Three minutes enough, yeah. We were down here at 2 yeah. o'clock. I thought, fucking hell, we're starting late. Good. Yeah. Super. Oh, girl, too fast. I think on
His, his grips are pretty good considering that though. Like I thought he'd be just on and trying to pull. Lewis said to me, he was like, if you let him push or push, you let him pull or pull. Ah. Brushed him while he's on. Super boy. Good match. Hold him. 
Boy, we do. Good lad. Going into like a barking hole. Yeah. Manu, yeah. because my posture is like. Go again. Do it again. One more. Good boy, Blackie. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Black. Good boy. Fast. Fast. Good boy. Good boy. Good man. Good boy. Yeah. Yes. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Super boy. Oh, that's the super man. Good boy. Yeah. Yes, good boy. I think he's missed it as well. Yeah. <laughs> Fast. Yes, good boy. Good boy, Flack. Good boy. Super. Good boy. Good boy, Flacky. Fast. He's like, I can't move. <laughs> he's like, I'm trying, Dad. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He couldn't even change his collar with a hot spot for now laying on full weight. Good boy. Good boy. Work through it, boy. Work through it, boy. Fast yeah. Yes, yes, good yes. boy. Yeah. Good lad. Boy. That's a good boy. Yeah. That's a good boy. Fast. Yeah. Good boy. Good oh. boy. Yes, good lad. Good also. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I said when Eden was on table, I should have brought a board. 
Right, day done. It's now pitch black. Um, it's not late, late, it's 20 to 7. So ETA home is 5 past 8. However, probably be more like half 8 because I'll stop, get some scran because I am starving. Um, yeah, good day, really good day. Nice to just let the dogs have a blowout. Um, if you notice today, um, unlike when I trained with the Evo guys, I didn't put any obedience, no control in. Um, I did a, a tiny bit of control with Flack in that he had to down before he had the bite and Khaleesi and Flack both had to out and, but nothing yeah. nothing nothing at all difficult um, easy easy just to give him a blowout really and first first run through with Eden which is nice so yeah uh, heading home now that's the plan big thank you to Scott and Ash for the work Shane's pup did good his dad's dogs did good everyone did good it was a good day good day more driving than I'd like, but a good day, nonetheless. So, time to get back, get some food. No, get some food, get back, sort the dogs out, and then go and chill. So, I'll catch up with you later on. sweeping brush because my office is full of leaves so it's now 20 to 9 I've been back seeing Lily seeing Misha um, I'm just gonna sweep the office so that's the first thing on the agenda look it's mad it's when I leave when I leave this open the leaves blow in it's a nightmare um, so I'm gonna sweep this up and then do a quick live video and then get this vlog edited and hopefully get it up tonight, maybe tomorrow for you now. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. Question of the day. My game is perception, as you've seen. What is your game? What's the thing you enjoy training the most? Which genre of training? Agility, protection, uh, fly ball, obedience, tracking. Let me know. Let me know. I'll see you all soon.